Have you ever wondered how programs decide what to do? For example, how does a game know when you have lost? Or how does an app check if your password is correct? The answer is decision making. Let us understand what decision making in programming is, why it's important and how it actually works. Decision making in programming means choosing different paths of execution based on conditions. It is very similar to how we humans make decisions every day. Before stepping out, check if it is raining. If yes, then take the umbrella otherwise we don't need an umbrella. Programs do the same thing but using conditions and logical checks. Without decision making, programs would be boring and useless. They would always run the same code and never react to different kinds of scenarios. Decision making allows programs to logically think and react to different conditions appropriately. The most fundamental tool for checking conditions is the if statement. We write if and then in brackets we can provide the condition. After that we provide the action to be performed. When this program will run, this condition will be checked. If it is true, then this action will be performed. What if it is false? For that we use the else statement. We write else and then provide the action to be performed. Let us focus in on this condition. What exactly is this condition? This condition, in simple words, is nothing but a boolean expression that is an expression that produces a boolean value. We have a disadvantage here. What if we need to check more than one condition? For that we use else if statement. We can write else if and then provide the condition in brackets followed by the action. We can provide as many else if statements as we want. When the program runs, first this if condition will be checked. It is true, this action will be performed. If this is false, then the program will move to the next condition. If this condition is true, this action will be performed. If this is also false, then it will look at the next condition. If all the conditions that we have provided are false, then the action associated with else statement will be executed. For example, we have a program that asks the user what their favorite season is and then accordingly tells them the best food to enjoy in that season. The logic is simple. If user enters summer, tell them to have a lot of ice cream and stay hydrated. If they enter rainy, tell them to enjoy coffee and keep an umbrella with them. If they enter winter, Tell them to enjoy hot soups and stay warm. By chance, if they enter something else, then tell them to enter a season out of summer, rainy and winter. Suppose the user enters rainy. First this condition will be checked. Has the user entered summer? Nope. So this action will not be performed. Then this next condition will be checked. Has the user entered rainy? True. Hence this message will be displayed. Suppose the user enters spring. Again, this first condition will be checked. Is it true? Nope. So the program will move to the next condition. Is this condition true? Again false. So the program will move to the next condition. Again false. As all the conditions are false, the action associated with the else statement will be executed. This is how we can implement decision making in a code. We hope you enjoyed the video. Just like decision making, 
Another very important concept in programming is the concept of repetition. If you want to explore this and many other interesting topics, check out our free mini course. We would love to hear your feedback. So don't forget to use the comments section to tell us what you think about this video. If you like this video, hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more cool videos. You can also find us on Instagram.